as we give our all to Almighty God. Let all the other names fade away. And let Jesus take his place. Hallelujah. As we lift him higher this morning, we're going to sing, Lord, I lift your name on high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, take your place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, everyone. Let's just worship Almighty God this morning. Hallelujah. It's all about him, isn't it? It's all about him. Hallelujah. We're here to worship him. It's all about him. All about him. Hallelujah.
morning. You may be aware that it's Remembrance Sunday. And we're going to just take one minute to reflect and remember those that gave up their lives all around the world for their country. In many wars. And remember those that have gone on ahead. Hallelujah. Let's just use this moment for a minute's silence and then we will hear the scripture reading. Amen. Yeah. Lord. Amen. Amen. We're blessed this morning to have a scripture reading that is taken from St. Matthew 16, verses 24 to 28. And as you reach for your sword to read the scripture, the scripture will be a video reading. It's going to be done differently this morning. As we honour the, the golden years, our senior members of the church who are not able to be with us today, we're going to be blessed with a reading from no other than Mother Jackson herself. Take it away, Sister Jackson. Hi, Bridgen. I'll be reading from St. Matthew 16, verses 24. 28. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever shall save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited? if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in, his, in the glory of his Father with his angels, and he, shall, and he shall reward every man according to his works. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death, till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. There endeth the reading of God's holy words. Thank you. Amen. 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 Let's give her a hand. Amen. 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 God bless you, Mother Jackson. Sister McKee, please send our regards to you, Mum. We do miss her. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's now worship and giving. It's offering time. It's giving time. Amen. It's blessing time. Amen. Amen. We're going to follow the leading of Sister Elaine as she starts from the back. And uh, if you could follow her as she moves her way forwards and go back to your seats down the side aisles. Uh, you can um, also give online. The information will be put up shortly. And... Uh, for those of you 
uh, that um, would like to give uh, another way, give my card, then please see uh, Bishop at the back. <laughs> Amen. So we're going to sing, give, and it will come back to you. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. Amen. Give, and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together, and run it over. Give, and it will come back to you. Give me a 
wish you a welcome and take over the rest of the service. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Good morning. I greet you all, brethren, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thanking Amen. God for another opportunity to be in his course. I want to greet Bishop, his pastoral team. Um, Brother Anderson, I greet you. Um, and I want to thank Bishop for giving us women the opportunity. We know many years ago they wanted us to be silent. But God has made a way and we're here now defending our own and defending the gospel of Christ. Um, we're going to have a, a solo right now by Ms. C Sister Simone Nicholson. But I want to remind you that our theme is surrender. And we want you to surrender everything. If it's your finances, if it's your husband, your children, your job, whatever it is, if it's a back pain, God is able Amen. to do abundantly more than we can ever see or ask. So, you know, surrender everything. You don't have to tell me, you don't even have to tell the person next to you, but just in your quiet time, in your heart, surrender to God. And as I said this morning, when they went to surrender years ago, when it was in the war, they would surrender like this. Or if there was somebody leading them into surrendering, the leading person would surrender. Um, they would know that they're coming. If you go with your flag behind you, thank you, because they're all the enemy and they think you're coming for them. So we either go with our hands up or we wave a flag saying, I surrender. And today, I'm asking you that you surrender everything to God because today he's going to meet you at the point of your need when you surrender anything to God. Sister Nicholson, I bless you.
going as you do, be, remain standing. Amen. And if you've surrendered all to Jesus, if you have, if you haven't, wave the flag today because you are surrendering. Amen. But if you have, let's just wave it as we sing the chorus another two times and just allow the Lord to know Hallelujah. that today we have surrendered. Amen. We have surrendered Amen. our heartaches, we have surrendered our pain, we have surrendered our jobs. We have totally surrendered. Yes. So we're going to raise this chorus again. I surrender all. And let us all just wave to God. Can you imagine heaven now yes, as we Lord. wave and we surrender to him? I believe that the angels in heaven is rejoicing as we sing.
And I thought to myself, if I'm up here then, the physical highs will be on you. My physical highs is on you. But this morning, I know that my spiritual highs is on God. Amen. And I believe your high, spiritual highs is on God. Amen. 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 No, and 2 Timothy 1 and verse 7, what does it say? For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of a sound mind. So my brethren, just come with me. Amen. Amen. I've been asked to give an exhortation on surrender. Amen. And the scripture I've been looking at is Romans 12, 1 to 8. And my topic is total surrendering. Everyone will surrender to something. Some to the government, some to the police, some to our parents, and even our friends. I remember I surrendered to my teachers, not because I want to, but they made me. I surrendered to my mom, not because I wanted to, but I had to. I know I surrender to God. Amen. Sometimes we break, we fall, Amen. but we know we surrender to God. Amen. When we surrender to God and his agenda, he promised to do amazing things in our lives. Amen. The definition for surrender is to yield to another or to give up. The text Paul outlined that surrender life is one that is fully committed to God and his purpose. Amen. This morning we will look at the idea of putting God in his rightful position. Amen. Romans 12 verse 1 to 8 fully express surrender to God. We see in verse 1 to 2 that we must fully express our surrender to God. Before God wants our service, he wants a guarantee that he really has you. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercies, right. to offer your bodies a as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, Amen. because this is your spiritual act of worship. Amen. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be e transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Then you will be able to test and approve what God will is good, pleasing, and perfect will. Amen. 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 Whenever you see the word therefore in the Bible, you should always ask what it is there for. When we come to chapter 12 of Romans, Paul is making a shift from the doctrine to practice. Mm -hmm. He follows a similar pattern yes. in the book of Ephesians and Colossians yes. when he establishes the doctrine in the first part of the letter and then moves to the application. Mm -hmm. In the second half, theology is never meant to be cold or lifeless. Mm -hmm. It must all ways of a practical application. Yes. It is as if he's saying, based on everything Alleluia. that I just said, Alleluia. this is what you now need to put in practice. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen? There are at least four therefore in the book of Romans. Yes. I quote, Romans 3 verse 20 is the therefore. It spoke about condemnation. Amen. Romans 5 and verse 1 is the therefore. It spoke about justification. Amen. Romans 8 verse 1 is the therefore. It spoke about assurance. Romans 12 verse 1 is the therefore. It spoke about surrender. Paul is saying that 
Right. Notice that he referenced to them as brothers, yeah, indicating amen. his affection for them as amen. members of God's family. Amen. He's begging believers, amen. not unbelievers, Glory to, to do something that has not yet been Be done. done. He makes this appeal in view of God's mercy. Yeah. It is interesting Hallelujah. that Paul doesn't say in the light of grace. <laughs> But instead, he focuses on mercy. Amen. Why is that? God's grace is demonstrated when we get what we don't deserve. Yeah. Whereas, his mercy is what keeps us from getting what we do deserve. Amen. Such a Lord. The original word used here for mercy is actual, plural. And refers to God multitude oh. mercy of mercies. Oh. He's not merciful just once, but again oh. and again. again, again. He is consistently and constantly Hallelujah. full of mercy. Yes. Amen. And oh. that like oh. he never yes. worship with a sincere heart or serve God with unbridled zeal until we properly understand. How much we are indebted to God's Amen. mercy. Amen. God has demonstrated so much mercy to us that we can't help but respond by fully surrendering our lives to Him. Amen. 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 Paul then gives us three ways to fully express our surrender to God. Number one, offer your body. Yes. We are urged in view of the many mercies of God to Hallelujah. offer our bodies yes. Yes. as a living sacrifice to our means to present once and for all. Hallelujah. In the Old Testament, worship is included as sacrifice. A life animal was brought to the priest and the owner would lay hands on the beast to symbolically say, yes, this sir. animal take my place. The animal was then killed, and the blood was sprinkled upon the altar. Amen? Amen. This idea of a living sacrifice yes. must have been another idea to the Jews of that day. This was something they had not heard of before, except perhaps in the case of Abraham's sacrifice, offering sacrifice upon the altar. They were used to offer dead sacrifice. Yes. Once a sacrifice is, up, is offered to God, you can't take it back. Mm -hmm. When we are called to present our body to the Lord, we are, ex we are exhorted to offer our total being to Him. Amen. Not just bits and pieces. Amen. God does not want us to not be a part of, the, of our life, of his life. He wants All us to it. completely completed to him. Amen. As someone has said, the problem with living sacrifice is that they keep crawling off the altar. God isn't interested in the beast today. He's looking for bodies of believers Amen. who will be sold out to him. Amen. He wants us to be living sacrifice. Yes, sir. Not dead Amen. When an offering is made to God, it was set apart and was completely devoted. Yes, Amen. 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 Paul continued by saying, Our life offering is to be holy and Amen. pleasing to God. Amen. Sacrifice was to be without blemish or defect. Yes. In like manner, we are to 
That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. You might be facing some incredible temptation right now. Cut ties with the word of these. You feel yourself being pulled to conform, to go along with the way your friends are leading you. Don't give in. And don't let me say because I've internalized the word values and fashion so much that we don't eager, even recognize it anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. It's like walking into a dark, dark theater in the middle of the day. When you first go in, everything look really dark. Uh -huh. But after a while, you can see normality. Yes. That is until you walk back outside. Yes. Some of us are in a similar situation Jesus, today. Jesus. If you My spend God. enough time conforming to the world, you become Jesus. so accustomed to the darkness My God. that you think it is normal. Come 
from the Lord who is the Spirit. You know, when I look at myself, I don't know about you, but I love myself. And as, as I say, when I was in school, yes, I think myself so. because I was dark skinned, wasn't like the light skin. Yeah? But you know, when I look at myself, or sometimes I just love. I'm full of beauty. Yeah. one and 
another. Amen. Each of us belongs to one another. Amen. I must be strong in one area of my gift, but I am weak in areas where others have been gifted. Amen. Thus, I must minister to others That's out of my Lord. strength. Amen. And be dependent upon the ministry of the rest of the body in, in my areas Amen. of weakness. We must stop thinking individually and begin to think corporately. That's right, that's we can right. look at ourselves as an island, independent no of all others. Yeah. We must see ourselves fully functioning, Amen. members of the body of Christ, Amen. with certain gifts that are necessary to equip them and ministry of the entire church. There is individuality within the body because there are members all with different roles. Hallelujah. But there is no room for individualism for we are inter-independent. We must rely on other members of the body just as they must rely on us. Did you know that we belong to each other? Yeah. yeah, did you know that we belong to the person sitting next to you? Yes. We are on the same team yes. with each other playing different roles. Yes. Amen. Don't get puffed up That's by right. your Don't own importance. Amen. Don't take yourself out of That's the game. Right. Amen. You don't matter. Yes. We need each other. Amen. We belong to yes. each other. Amen.
here. And she even said to me, I tell you something, Joan, you want to just come in down and be smart, it's a catcher. And she came into the office, and just before we went to um, the classroom, I said to her, can I have a word with you? Um, and she said, oh yes, do you want us to go you know, privately? And I said, yes. And I said to her, Venus, you know, is going. Can I get the other two days in here with you? And she said, I will look into it. Yeah, because it's not that it's just up to her. Yeah, so she said, I will look into it, Joan. And about a week after, she called me. And she said, Joan, this is what I need you to do for me. I need you to, and she kind of outlined it, what she wanted me to say that we spoke and emailed it to HR, yeah? And I did that. I went in and I said to the curriculum leader, and she said, yes, Joan, she's very nice, yeah? And I emailed it off to HR. And then, just before I went off for summer, summer holiday, she came to me and she said, Joan, I'm trying all my best for you to get these two days with us. But they more need people, in the forest, but don't give up. If you don't hear from me before you go on holiday, you will hear it even in September, but I'm working at it, okay? Yeah, so then September now, I went into work, and my curriculum leader said to me, Joan, have you heard anything about those days? And I said, no, and she said, the reason why I said, because the job has been advertised, five days a week, and I know because I'm on the interview panel. Wow. So I said, I just said, okay, and I, I, I went. <laughs> yeah, Bridget, before the week end. Yeah, they still went through with the um, interview five days a week, but before the week end, my manager uh, called me and she said, Joe, come let me have a quick talk with you. And she said, you know, over the summer we were talking about you doing full time with us. And I said, yes. And she said, I went to HR and it has been approved. Yeah, yeah. And it will start as of the 10th of October. Remember that five days is still out there for somebody. Yeah. So I still get um, the other two days fully, fully um, permanent. Yeah. And to be quite honest, I must say it started and I even see it in my first wages. Amen. So well, I said this to say it was a long process. Amen. Yeah? Okay. And at, at word, sometimes they come some name and they will say, Joe, you're a legend. You didn't start, did you? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so you know, I when you see me there and I'm skipping. Yeah. And I'm
Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's give God all the praise. All the glory. And you can go to the side. I can't do this for you.
Amen, amen, church. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. I'm just going to quickly read this week's covenant announcements very, very quickly. It's the announcement for Sunday, the 13th of November. Tomorrow, Monday, the 14th, is corporate fasting and prayer, and that will commence at 10:30 a.m. until 12 noon. Tomorrow evening, we have our freedom in Christ at 7.30 until 9 p.m. And there will also be a young discipleship class running alongside this at the same time. So for 18s and under, I would probably say around the back and the adults around the front. And that's for freedom in Christ and all are welcome. We're probably on about week three or four now, I believe, and we've been having a great time every single Monday. Um, so come out at 7.30 with the young people, come out with yourselves, 7.30 till 9pm tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday the 15th, we have our men's ministry and women's ministry meeting here, I believe, at church at 7.30, so come out to that. Um, Wednesday the 16th, we have our prior and Bible study starting at 7 o'clock, and we are continuing with the series of going through the halls of faith. So come out to that on Wednesday the 16th, this Wednesday. Sunday the 27th is our family and friends day. So bring a friend, tell a friend, tell a neighbour, bring a loved one along with you next Sunday the 27th to celebrate and rejoice together our family and friends day in worship. We have some funeral announcements, some funeral services that are going to be taking place. So please remember the families in your prayers. Sister Valerie Edmonds, um, our dear sister that we know, will be laying her mother to rest on Tuesday the 15th of November. And the service will be held in London. So please remember Sister Valerie Edmonds and her family at this time as she lays her mother to rest. We also have another funeral service of the late Mr. Archie Thomas, also known as Ken Thomas. That is on Friday the 25th of November at 11 a.m. here at church. And that's Friday the 25th of November for Mr. Thomas. And please remember Sister Emmy and the Thomas family in your prayers at this time. And also remember the bereaved families among us, Sister Ruby Johnson, the Wallace family, the Finnegan family, the Henry family, the Baxter family, the Harris family, and the Thomas family, and also the Wallace family, as they have lost loved ones over the last few days and weeks. So let us remember those families in our prayers at this time. Sad times at the moment for certain families, so let us just strengthen them in our prayers. And I believe that's all the announcements for this week. Um, so have a blessed week. There will be refreshments at the back um, after church. So please, oh, at the front, sorry, at the front. At the L room. So at the front of church, um, there will be refreshments. So please stop by um, as you're going out and fellowship for a while before you go. We have some birthdays. I'm not sure if there's any um, birthdays this coming week. If there is, then please step forward. But we had uh, Elijah and Eva yeah. were five on the 8th of November. I don't Amen. think they're here today. No, they're not here today. Um, but Sister Daphne was on the 4th. And I believe that she was unwell last week. But glory to God, she's here this week looking fabulous. So Sister Daphne, if you could come to the front. 
as we sing happy birthday with you and celebrate another year. Amen? Amen. Another year. So if there are any other birthdays this coming week, then please, please step forward. So if your birthday is this week coming, ooh, when's your birthday? Today! Wow! And how old are you today? We all do, sister. How old are you today? She's three. She's three. Oh. So we're going to sing happy birthday to these lovely, lovely young ladies at the front. So if you can stand. Amen. If you are celebrating a birthday, please don't be shy. Please come forward. We would love to celebrate with you. Amen. Thank you. 